Hi, welcome to Ray Purpose Made, where I, Reynaldo, show you the ins and outs of some of my furniture projects. I try to always incorporate art into the furniture making process so that each finished piece is custom and one of a kind. Check out how I do it. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see what's coming up next. What kind of ancestor table do you have in your house? Is it a table at all? For my house, I created a shelf. I wanted a way to honor the ancestors and have them higher up away from everything else. And I wanted to create something similar for Jennifer. And much like her floating nightstand, I wanted to create something for her that can just be applied directly to the wall. This random three-quarter moon shape didn't just come out of anywhere. This piece is intended to go in a corner of Jennifer's living room, so I wanted to create one shape, the continuous circle, but have it be broken up. So this is the only time we're gonna see it as this full flat object, but it is gonna be in a corner somewhat more like this. There was no question what the art style was gonna be on this piece. It wasn't gonna be splatter paint, it wasn't gonna be hard edge, it wasn't gonna be the dazzling epoxy. It was definitely gonna be the wood burn because wood burn feels the closest back to nature. And this is all about our ancestors and about us and humans and the earth. So wood burn was definitely the way I wanted to go. And when it came to the wood burn, the ideas I had was to represent Jennifer's ancestors, like literally on the piece, not just have an object devoted to them, a space for them, but also referential on the piece itself. So she gave me her four grandmother's names, her two biological grandmothers and her two adopted grandmother's names. And I kind of put them all over the place, kind of randomly, but still like with some kind of order because I wanted to connect them. and. Even the connection pieces make uh, have some reference back to Jennifer because she works in like DNA, like a ancestry uh, website purely for people of African descent. So for that reason, I wanted to have like the connected the connections between her and the indigenous symbols that I added in her grandmother's with like strands of DNA. So it kind of all goes back on itself. A while back when I was first talking to Jennifer about this project, she mentioned that her favorite verse is Romans 828. So I wanted to find a way to add that to this piece also. So some of the webbing between the indinker symbols and the ancestors' names is uh, parts of the verse. And I didn't want to be all plain and just like put the verse. So it's kind of webbed around, kind of snaking through the whole piece. So it's all one together with the ancestors and with the, with the DNA strands connecting everything to each other. I wanted Jennifer to be represented on this piece, but not like totally literally, because she's not an ancestor yet. So I put her birth information right in the very center of the piece. She's like the nexus to everything that is here. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. Stick around, there is a little bit more, but I want to take this time to ask you to like, share, subscribe. Follow my videos. You can click on the little bell at the bottom so you'll know when I drop a new video every Wednesday. And if you want to see more of my work, keep in touch, or have your very own Ray Purpose piece, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Etsy, and Gmail under Ray Purpose. Thank you. Now keep watching. 
Usually an ancestor table is just one surface, a table or a shelf, but much like we live stacked up, I wanted to stack up this object and put different shelves on different levels because we have much more vertical room to play with than we have like horizontal room to play with and Jennifer's living room. So that's where the stacking came from. And I wanted to play with that a little bit more and not just put like shelf, 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 shelf kind of boring, you know? So that's why it's kind of staggered. When these pieces are in the corner as they're intended, it kind of just merges into each other and just creates one cool little like moon or lotus looking scene. I love it.